All right, thanks, Chris. Staffing shortages have hit several industries over the past few years, but what happens when it catches up to the U.S. Coast Guard? Sophia Paraconi is tracking that issue and what it means for safety on the water. Sophia? Kaylee, the Coast Guard tells me this problem is not unique to Northwest Ohio, but it is just now reaching our area. The Coast Guardsmen are being forced to wor work shorter shifts, and that is pulling on resources from local fire departments. Fewer first responder eyes are on Toledo's waterways this summer. The Coast Guard has been faced with uh, unprecedented personnel shortages. The Coast Guard is down about 10% of its enlisted force. Daniel McGrath is the officer in charge at Toledo's Coast Guard station. He says the shortages are across the country. Because of that, Coast Guardsmen responsible for search and rescue are being pulled from their home stations to locations that need more help. In Toledo, staff is working in Belle Isle and Marblehead. So that was determined by uh, an analysis of, of statistics over the last few years to determine whether there's overlapping coverage for search and rescue. When on shift, Coast Guardsmen typically stay on station for days, only leaving to get food. This allows them to be ready to rescue at all times, but because search and rescue efforts are being pulled away. We have a 40 hour work week. We work on unit maintenance, unit administration, training, and we do boat operations, but on a scheduled basis. So what does that mean for water safety? The Coast Guard is now relying more on other local departments, including Toledo Fire and Rescue. In a statement to WTOL 11, Toledo Fire said, we are coordinating responses to what was normally assigned to USCG Station Toledo with our neighboring partners, Oregon Fire, Jerusalem Township Fire, and Washington Township Fire. This plan will provide timely emergency responses while not overly burdening any one department. Toledo Fire says that the extra help isn't impacting how it staffs its three boats daily. The department also hasn't noticed an increase in calls for service, so it's not taking away from other responsibilities. I don't think people should be worried about it. It is uh, it is temporary. Uh, I think at some point the Coast Guard will be fully staffed again and we'll have the units be fully manned to the way they were before. McGrath told me there is not a timeline for when the Coast Guard will be fully staffed again, but that recruitment and retention are actively being worked on. He also could not speak to why the Coast Guard is facing such extreme shortages. In studio, Sophia Paraconi, WTOL 11.